there's a lot of 1964 SMS scams and frauds and misinformation out there. And a lot of it's on eBay. We're going to talk about that in this video. Here's Mint State Coin Technologies and we made it to 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate and thanks to everyone for subscribing to the channel. There will be more videos in the future. Also, PorchwithCoinShop.com. That is my website where you can buy coins. We've got the mystery lots up here. We have silver eagles. We have graded coins. So if you get a chance, look at PorchwithCoinShop.com. I'm very apprehensive about doing any video mentioning a 1964 SMS. If you think that you have a 1964 SMS, please send it to PCGS, NGC, or Annex. If you go to their website, go through their online thing, you can call them up on the phone or whatever. Because you can't send, and I'll prove this, you can't send me images. I'm not going to be able to verify nothing. I don't really want to look at anything that people think is a 64 SMS. I'm not trying to be mean. I just don't want to. I've had hundreds of people call me over the years and tell me they have a, a 64 SMS coin that they found or it's in a set or whatever. And if that was the case, then these would not be rare. Okay. There's only 20 or 30 known sets total. They weren't released to the public. They weren't released to collectors. They weren't put in circulation. And if you don't have that finish, it doesn't matter what the die marks are. If you don't have that SMS finish, then it's not ever going to get the SMS designation. So you just need to send it off. I'm not interested in it. I'm not trying to be, like I said, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I'm just, I really am kind of callous towards this. The arguing and the carrying on on the phone, I just, it, I'm wore out from it. So I don't want to hear about the 64s. I'm providing this video to help you. If you still think you have one, then please, by all means, send it off. Send it off. Then when it comes back, then talk to me once it comes back. I want to know about it after the fact, after it's graded. So first off, this is an actual SMS. Now, SMS coins, and we're just talking about the Kennedy half from the 60s. The SMS was 65 to 67, okay? That's the year, and they didn't put a mint mark on them. And they came in sets like this. They came in this blue box, and they came in snap cases like this, okay? Now, this is a true SMS set. You can tell a little the difference in them because of the fact that they're shinier, uh, more like a proof, almost like they're a proof finish, but not a decam. Now, you can find them. They're rare with decam. The thing about these sets, and I'm going to show you some problems that I see online, is that they are snap, okay? And very easily, I can open this up. It's not sealed, okay? They don't come from the mint sealed. And I can replace this entire set with a 64 proof set. And then put it up on eBay and sell it as an SMS set. Okay, and people are doing this. I see it. I'm going to show you. Here's the proof. I can cut these out, put them in this. I don't recommend doing that because it's a lie because the 64 SMSs are very rare. And like I said, not they weren't released to anybody. Okay, they were in Eva Adams' estate. She was a former Mint director. She passed away. No one even knew these existed from 1964 all the way up to 91, 93 when they first come up to auction. I think... There was one strange set in 91, but really 93 is definitely verifiable as when they started to be sold. They've been broken up. They've been sent off for grading, and they are worth a lot of money. Okay, so with knowing this, now I'm going to show you a few things here. This is what I'm seeing on eBay. People putting SMS, and, and don't get me wrong, they're putting 64, and it's kind of confusing. So I'm not saying these people are actually perpetrating fraud the ones that i question or whenever they're in these little blue packs like i showed you and they've got what they're calling a whole sms set in their proofs i showed you what the proofs are go down and take a look at some of these um you know that like i said the sms's are going to be 65 to 67 in the kennedy halves yeah you got a 98 but that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about the 60s here's one this is kind of a perfect example here. We'll take a look at it. This person says this is a 1964 SMS half dollar. It is not. Okay. I mean, if they think this is the case, then they need to send it off and it'll be worth $20,000 or $10,000. I mean, why would you even, this is what I'm talking about. This is not good selling at all. This is what we don't need in this business. 
So this one here is 64 to 67. Now, it, this one's a proof. It has a proof on it. Now, here's another one. $2,499. I'll open it up. I'll take a look at it. See, this is not an SMS. What it is is people are seeing a difference in tone, and to them it looks like it. You know, some people are colorblind, and they do see coins differently, and it's hard for them to discern the differences in the features. And I get that. That's why you just send your coin off. It's so easy to do. I mean, you print an annex form off, and you fill it out. It's it's. I mean, it's actually easier than filling out a W-2 for employment. I mean, it's it's easy to do. You're going to have to put some money in it, but it's worth it if your coin's going to be worth thousands of dollars. You know, I, I try to tell people this over and over and over. Just send it off, please. And then here's a, a cent, not an SMS. It's just a regular business strike that looks nice. It's got a little bit of toning on it. They think that toning makes it a different, like a, a matte finish or a, a SMS finish. You know, here's a, here's one here that this is actually a proof. I mean, this is not an SMS finish, but people see it. They see early die stage, and they think that has a little bit of cameo too. And they think that this is an SMS. It's not an SMS. Okay. So, I see this, and people are actually. I mean, I come over to the sold and see if anyone's actually bought any of these. See if anyone's been fooled. And here you go. Here's this. This one sold for thirty nine dollars now. That's more than what I sell my SMS sets for. I think I, I sell my 65 to 67 for 12 bucks. So whoever pe bought this paid triple, a little over triple the amount that the set's actually worth um, if it was an SMS. But the problem with this one is that it's actually a proof set, a 64 proof set put in one of these plastic holders. And see, those are all proofs. Those are not SMS coins. Now, a set for $39, I mean, I've been selling like 25 28 30 bucks is what they're going for. So no one really got ripped off on this one, but it was misrepresented because it's not an SMS set. Here's some more that have sold. Here's another one. See, here, they said they got this. People were hung up on this teardrop, okay? And this is a very tiny, just a little tiny die. It's a raised area. It, It's not, I don't know what they're talking about on this one. I don't see what they're talking about, but it. But I'll show you an example of this. This is not an SMS. Okay, this is a circulated coin. I have all kinds of these. And they actually sold it for $39.98, or at least it looks like they did. And it's unfortunate because people don't know the difference and they're getting fooled. See, this is another one. They sell us another one like this. So they're they're reaping a big, you know, little extra profit off of it by claiming it's an SMS set. People are buying it. So this is a regular. And that's why I talk about <clears throat> then it gets into the fraudulent listing. Maybe they don't know the difference. Maybe they think it's they're confused and actually think it's an SMS. They're not intentionally trying to rip or rob somebody. And I get that. That's okay. But you need to educate yourself if you're going to sell coins. You shouldn't be selling coins if you don't know what coins are. I always harp on that and harp on that. So I want to show you this nickel. This is a Jefferson nickel that was sold as a 64 SMS six steps. Okay, we're going to take a look at the original listing. It is irrelevant. Anything about this is irrelevant. This is not an SMS. If anything, it might be an impaired proof. And as far as the full steps and all that, it has, doesn't matter. That's not. That has nothing to do with it being an SMS. It looks like it's been cleaned at one time. And let me tell you something. The person that sold this, if this was an SMS, okay, they just cost themselves a lot of money by selling on eBay. But do you know the rebuttal of that argument is? Someone literally said this to me, and they got mad. They said, look, I'm finding all these rare coins, and I don't care about the money. I just want to spread the wealth, and I want to, I want to sell these to people knowing that they're getting this great deal on something that's worth a lot of money. It makes me feel good. That was literally one person's, at least one person's argument. I think two people have argued that with me, that they're, they find all these rare coins, and they're just wanting to share the wealth by selling them for a cheap price to everybody. I don't know. I don't know if it's not an SMS, you can't sell it as an SMS, bottom line. And if you think it's an SMS, you know what my answer is to that. Let's go over here to PCGS. PCGS has three different images of an SMS Kennedy half dollar that you can look at yourself. Now, I can tell you, you're not going to be able to tell by the images. I look at these coins, and we're going to take a look at the teardrop because that's one of the things that people really get mixed up on. You see this one doesn't have it. 
And you know why it doesn't? Because this is actually just a proof. It's a Kenny Half Dollar proof. And you can't tell me by images whether your coin is SMS or not. It's just not the way it works. You can't do it. You can send me a thousand images, high res, under a microscope. It's never going to prove that it's an SMS. Now, if you come over and look at the actual SMS, you can see DAW file lines. But see, you'll see that on regular business strike Kennedy half dollars. You'll see these little marks and different things on them. Uh, the neck, see, they all have this. That's part of the design of all of them. It's not just on SMS. So see, this is a special finish where it gives a, a light reflection that you don't see on other Kennedy halves. It's not the toning. You'll see toning here. Just because a coin has this toning doesn't mean it's an SMS. Okay, you're looking at an image here. Here is the little teardrop. See, it's actually raised. This teardrop is raised. It is not into the coin. A lot of people think they see a, a mark into the coin. They still say it's raised. Well, whenever you dent a coin or anything, that metal has to go somewhere. So it gets moved to the side, creates a little bit of a hump, but it's still a divot on the coin. Here's another example. You see the lines? You see the little speckles of toning? That doesn't mean it's an SMS, okay? Same here. Here's the neck. That doesn't mean it's an SMS. Those aren't die marks for an SMS. That's part of the design that is actually toning. And die file lines can be found on almost every Kennedy half dollar. Here is the little teardrop shape. It's a little different looking because of the fact that the lighting's different, okay? Not every coin takes the same pictures. Uh, two different pictures don't always look alike taken by two different photographers under different lighting. You cannot tell by just looking at the coin. Here's another one. See all this? See these die file lines? And you see the marks in the neck. You see the little... You just can't tell by looking at an image. I mean, you just can't do it. Here's the teardrop. It looks different in this one because of it. I've read where there was only one die pair that struck these. Now, like I said, I, I'm sure they probably did a whole run, destroyed most of them. Eva Adams decided to keep 20, 30 sets put them together and had them in her house. Okay. As an example, maybe she really loved Kennedy and she thought that that would be a good idea just to have as a, for herself, her own personal collection. Okay. Because the rest of them must've been destroyed. I wouldn't doubt there was more struck because I've supposedly heard that some of these don't have, or at least one of them, that's an SMS because of the finish alone does not have this teardrop on the floor. Okay. Now I don't know. I've not, like I said, I've read some things, and you're going to hear all kinds of conflicting information on these because they are a mysterious issue. So, we can go to Heritage, sold auctions, and we can take a look at these two coins right here. You see this coin, and you see this coin. They're both 1964. This is a 1964 Mint State 67, has some toning on it, and it is a regular Mint State for circulation. It just didn't get into circulation. Kennedy half dollar. This is an SMS, okay? Now, you can see a slight difference, but most people would not think there's much of a difference in these coins. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at this. Look at this coin. It has the marks. See the lines in the neck? I'm not seeing quite dial file lines, but I do see some of that toning on it. It just seems to be a thing with these Kennedy half dollars. That does not mean it's an SMS because it has that. I can't see a teardrop, but right in here you can see a little area, and some people will mistake that for the teardrop and say, oh, I've got an SMS. That's what this is. Look, send it off for grading. That's the best thing for you to do. Send it off and have it graded, have it authenticated, and you'll know what you have. That's the best thing to do. Here's the SMS. You see there's the difference in the finish. It's a little bit in this image, but it looks very similar to the other one. See the lines here? And here's this, this shape. I can't get any closer, but there's what it looks like. Now, I've shown you four images of, of SMS. Now, I'm not saying this isn't just like the same one that's on PCGS. I don't know which one PCGS used. But every one of those little teardrops looks a little bit different because of the lighting. You always turn a coin under the lighting at different angles. So my thing is, my goal here is to tell people that to send it off first, if you think you have one, save everybody a lot of grief. Also remember that not every coin out there that people think is an SMS is an SMS. Most of them are not, actually. I, I venture to say if they're not in a holder, already graded, you pretty much probably don't have an SMS. You know, I wish anybody luck. I would love to see someone get um, an SC. Uh, a business strike struck with SMS dies. I mean, that's your only shot. And if you think you have that, then you need to send it off and, and put the little note in there. Maybe they'll look at it closer. If you really have this teardrop, you really have the die marks and all that stuff. But the Kennedy has really don't look that much different. Even with the SMSs, they don't look all that much different. Uh, you just have to really know what you're looking at. But anyway, hopefully this helped you. Don't buy into the stuff that's on eBay, ungraded stuff that people's claiming it's SMS and all that. Stay away from it. So thanks for watching my latest video. 
please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.